and probably even out wide Betty's Dream as well. Sometimes Anna Indy can begin okay as well. All right, green light on, final event. Here we go, Gawler Grace. This is the Gawler Dry Cleaners. Favourite box eight. Away. Beginning well, Betty's Dream's going to get across and find the front or kicking up underneath it, though, was Anna Indy and kept it out. Behind those, Mr. Onassis is stoking up and now Dire Straits is getting up on the inside but then cop the check with Betty's Dream. Mr. Onassis, the roughie of the field, 100 to 1, they bet about it, goes to the lead and takes over from Anna Indy, flashing home Dire Straits, but Mr. Onassis takes first prize. I think Anna Indy second, just in front of Dire Straits, behind those flaming bubbles. Then we had Betty's Dream and Magic Burner at the tail end of the field. The run was 23 and 48, 23, 48 at the time. Mr. Onassis, 5, 7, 1, and 4, 5, 7, 1, 4. He peaked at 100 to 1 on the fixed odds, backed into $51. And your return on the tape will actually backed in back to his opening quote of 34. But your tape dividend will be a lot less than that, I can tell you that. And Mr. Onassis takes first prize. Black Dog, June 2015, Fire Tyson out of Precious Stone. That's his third win here at Gawler, over 451 goes, and his fifth win from 96 career starts. Five, seven, one, and four. Five, seven, one, four. It was his birthday today. And Marcello Caliccio, the owner and the trainer, hopefully he had a ticket each way at the $101 on the fixed. And Arindi gave them something to chase but run down. And uh, Dire Straits has made some ground late to get into third. Five, seven, one, four, two and a quarter.